Just hey, Gwen. Very soon, little Ethan will be your legally adopted son. <laughs> and as for the Lopez Fitzgeralds, well, they will leave Harmony and will no doubt join those other immigrant families in harvesting this nation's great lettuce crop. Mother, that's awful. Oh, I know. Think of all those bugs and dirt. Yuck. No, I mean, it's awful that Teresa's family has to suffer. But you know, ever since I lost Sarah, the only thing I can think about is having a child. I mean, I dream about having a beautiful little boy or a little girl and being a family with Ethan. And I just, I just can't believe that that, that could actually happen soon. Oh, it will. And Mr. and Mrs. Ethan Winthrop and son <laughs> will make three. I just, I just can't wait for little Ethan to start calling me mom again. Oh, and I cannot wait for Teresa to hear him say it. Oh. <laughs> Ladies, what are we celebrating? Let me in on your little secret or what? Uh, yeah, sure. Well, we will clue you in. It's not really a secret. No, actually, it is the best news possible. Ethan and Gwen are going to adopt. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> well, you pick out a baby already? Is that his picture you're holding? What? Come on, let me what? see my new half-niece or nephew. Uh, uh, well, uh, actually, uh, no, Fox, we, well, we can't. <laughs> uh, we don't want to uh, jinx things, do we, Gwenny? No, no, we don't. <laughs> okay, okay, fair enough. Can you at least tell me if it's a boy or a girl? Yes. Funny. You know what I'm talking about. Come on. Fox, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'm just really superstitious about these kind of things, and I'd rather wait to tell you until we know for sure. Okay. Okay, that's cool. I love surprises. No big deal. Thank you for being so understanding. You got <laughs> it. Yeah. Yes, Fox. Thank you. Oh, and you will be surprised when you see the lucky child that Ethan and Gwen adopt. <laughs> Thank you, Mother. For what? For taking away everything Teresa holds dear. Oh, Gwenny. Oh, that is so sweet. I mean, soon enough, I'm gonna have everything I ever dreamed of. I'm gonna have Ethan and a child. <laughs> well, not just any child. <laughs> the son of the woman who murdered your child and made sure that you would never have another one. That calls for some champagne. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. Hi. Oh. Becca, I did as you asked me to do. Served the Lopez Fitzgerald family with eviction papers. Well, already? Oh, well, good. Good. Well, uh, well, well tell me, what happened? How, uh, what was their reaction? Was there much whining and, you know, gnashing of teeth? They were understandably upset. I gotta tell you something, I don't think they're gonna go down without a fight, though. Well, they can certainly try, but without jobs, I don't see how they're really going to fight it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Pilar told me how they all just happened to lose their jobs on the same day. Some coincidence, huh? Is there nothing? Nothing at all that you'll stop at to, to try to get even with Teresa? There is not. Not after what she did to you and Gwen, how she killed your child, and she made sure that you were never going to have another one. No, as far as I am concerned, Teresa's suffering is just beginning. Now, if you'll excuse me, I want to go check on little Ethan. I want to see how your sweet little namesake is doing. So what are those? These. These aren't there. I'm just adoption papers. Oh. Now, look, I know we want to get the ball rolling on this, so I, I picked them up earlier at the courthouse. And all we have to do now is find the perfect child to call our own. Well, little Ethan is so happy up in the nursery. He's uh, making something with those, um, you know, they're kind of squarish, sort of box-like things. Building blocks? Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay, well, um, uh, Ethan, he, he wants you to come upstairs so he can show you what he made. 
I'll go up in just a minute. Ethan got our adoption papers from the courthouse. <gasps> How exciting. Can I see him? Sure. Yeah, I started filling out everything ahead of time so we can get it before a judge as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Looks like Gwen and I, we, we meet all the requirements for adoption, so all we have to do is find a child, put his or her name right there in the blank space, get a judge to approve it, and bam, we're a family. I'm so excited. I love you so much. I know, I love you. Oh, I can't wait to be a mommy. <laughs> I can't wait to be a daddy. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Okay. You know, things could not be any better. In fact, why don't we just fill in this little blank here? Adoptive child, Ethan Cray. Soon to be. Ethan Winthrop. Mm. <sighs> I can't wait. <laughs> 